Welcome to our instrumentation AAA tutorials and today we are talking about some flow measurement related questions which are showing on screen. What is the orifice plate? We will cover also orifice plate working principle, types of orifice plate, types of orifice flange tappings and orifice advantage and orifice limitations. So these are six questions generally asked whenever you are going for any interview questions interview or any technical related jobs vacancies so whenever you are going for any interview these types of flow related questions will be very useful for your interview so now let us start and our first point is what is orifice plate so in a definition an orifice plate is a device used for measuring flow rate with reducing pressure through restricting the flow so how it is designed when we talk about this is our pipeline and when a small hole is given where the fluid is passing through this hole. So this is the actually orifice. When we talk about its construction and its front face looks like this. So this is the definition and also the one very important point the orifice plate is manufactured with different different material as per application of the service because some service are congealing service some service are acidic and caustic where the ss and some other material cannot be used so a special type of material can be used on those places so this is actually our orifice plate now orifice plate working principle so we have seen what is the orifice plate and now it's working principle when gas or liquid gas or liquid or some mat fluid material is passing through orifice is passing through orifice this fluid is passing through orifice when here the the before this uh, uh, restriction the pressure of the fluid is p1 after the restriction the pressure of this fluid is p2 so whenever the process fluid is passing through this orifice then small pressure difference is present because P1 will have other pressure and P2 will have other uh, pressure. So P2 minus P1 will be uh, created here and that will be uh, calculated and that is the proportional to the delta P. Means our pressure difference is proportional to the flow so where we can derive the flow. So it is the working principle of the orifice. When we talk about the orifice construction, so this is the construction. Here, this is the pedal or handle. We can say pedal or handle of orifice plate. And this is the bore. This is the bore. Bore dia. This is the bore and this is the orifice plate. And also one small hole is uh, given upside of the uh, above the this hole and one hole is below this bore. So these are the called one is this is called bent hole and this is called drain hole. Okay, so this is the construction of the orifice and we have seen the working pressure orifice. Now our next point is. Our next point is types of orifice plate. So generally this is the concentric square is concentric and quad quadrant is and eccentric bore and segmental. Now the first uh, how it looks like. So we have seen previously also this is the mostly used orifice in oil and gas sector in instrumentation or automation field. So this is the concentric square is and generally when we talk about the liquid the beta ratio of the uh, liquid is 0 0.15 to 0.75 and it uh, works beta ratio for gas or steam 0 0.20 to 0 0.70 so, so beta ratio should be maintained below the 0 0.75 when if you want to uh, get the accurate flow of orifice so this is the first thing and uh, second is first is square concentric square is second is quadrant edge bore 
so this is also very important whenever your pipe is less than 2 inch it can be used and it is the one also recommendation whenever a high viscosity high viscosity fluid is used high viscosity fluid is used then quadrant is bore type or if it's plate will be very helpful and eccentric bore this is also very uh, important eccentric bore how it looks like eccentric this is the middle line and the hole is below the middle line this is the eccentric and the application of this eccentric bore whenever the solid or oil material present in any fluid then the eccentric types of orifice plate can be used and it will work effectively segmental whenever segmental construction is looks like this way okay so where it is used whenever your fluid is colloidal or slurry or it may contain solid contaminate then the segmental bore type orifice plate can be used so these are the four types of orifice plate generally are used concentric square edge and quadrant is generally used now next point is types of orifice flange tapping so when you have this line and your orifice how this orifice is uh, installed in line is determined by the types of orifice plate tapping so one by one we will see the first part is flange tapping so this is our line and uh, this is our flange and uh, this is our orifice so when your uh, uh, tapping is one this is the dia of the dia of the pipe and when you are uh, flange tapping means the orifice tapping orifice tapping then 1d from the orifice and 1d up stream and down stream means your orifice plate is installed from the orifice to 1d downstream and 1d upstream the distance of the tapping is flange tapping another one is a corner tapping so corner tapping when generally used less than 2 inch pipe size and um, the uh, when when we talk about the flange tapping and corner tape the flange tape is mostly used now the next point is vena contractive taps this is also very uh, important so what is vena contractor when you are when you are uh, pressure when your fluid is passing through this orifice here pressure is p1 this is p1 when it pass through this restri restriction then its pressure reduces and when it reaches minimum pressure this is called the vena contractor this is called the vena contractor okay and when after the vena contractor it regains some pressure but it will not reach the initial at the initial pressure and they will be difference will always be available so that's why the orifice plate will not gain will not recover the pressure so it will always uh, drop some pressure so this what is the vena contractive taps so now we have seen the what is the vena contractor then if um, uh, your orifice this is orifice this is the pipe when the tapping one tapping is uh, 1d mean upstream upstream tapping is a uh, 1d from the orifice and downstream tapping is uh, when we talk about the vena contractor we are lowest pressure observed so this is the vena contractive tapping now the radius tapping this is your pipeline this is your orifice okay and then this is your first tapping 1d and this is your half tapping 1d and half tapping 
and generally recommendation is you can use more than 6 inch pipe easily radius step type of orifice plate next is elbow taps generally when when uh, the elbow tap is not used in uh, some places because of uh, highly inaccurate highly inaccurate so elbow type of orifice, orifice flange generally not used pipe taps or full types so in a pipe tap when your orifice is installed like in this way then uh, the first tapping is 2.5d and the down tapping is 8d so when the transmitter so this is pipe tap or full flow taps so this is the tapping types of the orifice planes tapping now next point orifice plan advantage so now the first advantage is in all type of flow meters orifice type of flow meter is cost effective is a lesser cost comparison to other type of flow transmitter or flow sensing devices second point is it occupy occupy less space is occupy less space this is also the advantage and third one is it can be used in large pipe can be used in large pipe this is the third the fourth advantage is it can be used horizontal and vertical also five five number uh, it is simple construction and six we can say easy replacement whenever you want to replace orifice then easily you can replace so these are the some uh, advantage so that's why the orifice plate is generally most of the uh, flow transmitter is type of orifice type orifice limitations the first we have seen after the bena contractor it doesn't recover loss of the pressure recovery loss means if uh, you are this is your line if this is the p1 this is the p2 so p2 always less than p1 single phase can be used at a time and also its accuracy is very important and accuracy can be affected can be affected by viscosity density as well pressure of flow so these are the limitations and the one limitation is also the straight pipe always whenever you want to uh, install an orifice type of meter then a straight pipe is required so this is the limitations so this is our video what type of question generally ask in any technician instrumentation interview or if you are going for any experienced uh, interview if you are going for any company or any job related interview these type of orifice types questions and answer always ask so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, tomorrow we will also talk about some pressure and level related question and answer thank you very much